Words can either build up or tear down a relationship. Sometimes when we're upset, we say things that hurt the people we care about, but even if we apologize later, those hurtful words can stick with them. Men especially really value respect. If you disrespect them, even just once, it can break the relationship. When you ignore his feelings or disrespect him, it can make him stop loving you. Your words and actions matter a lot to a man. Hurtful words said in anger can really damage a relationship. Instead of fighting fire with fire, try to talk calmly and respectfully. Let's dive into the things you should never say to a man as a woman. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. Here we're dedicated to empowering women with tips on beauty, elegance, confidence, and success. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. It helps us continue bringing you the best content. Now let's jump into today's discussion. One, you are too emotional. When you tell a man you're too emotional, it can hurt his feelings and make him feel like his emotions are wrong. This can lead to problems in communication because he might not feel comfortable expressing himself anymore. Instead, it's important to create a safe space where he can share his emotions without fear of judgment. Encouraging open expression of emotions without judgment is key to building strong relationships. When someone feels free to share how they feel, it helps them feel understood and supported. Remember, everyone experiences emotions differently, and that's okay. It's important to validate and respect each other's feelings, even if you don't fully understand them. Two, are you even a man or you are not man enough? When you tell a guy, are you even a man or you're not a man, it can really sting. It makes him feel like he's not good enough or like there's something wrong with him. Men don't like feeling this way because it hurts their pride and makes them doubt themselves. It's important to be careful with your words and avoid saying things that can make a guy feel like he has to prove himself to you. Saying hurtful things about a guy's manliness can cause a lot of damage to your relationship. It can lead to arguments and make both of you feel unhappy. Instead of focusing on what he's not doing right, try to talk about things calmly and respectfully. This way, you can understand each other better and work through problems together without hurting each other's feelings. Remember, everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses, and that's okay. It's important to support each other and build each other up instead of tearing each other down. So next time you're tempted to say something hurtful about a guy's manliness, take a deep breath and think about how it might make him feel Communication is key in any relationship, so let's work together to keep it positive and respectful. Three, you're just like your father. When you say, you're just like your father, it can make someone feel really bad. It's like saying they're not being themselves, but instead acting like someone else. This can hurt their feelings and make them feel insecure. Comparing someone to a family member, especially in a negative way, can cause problems. It might remind them of past issues or make them worry about living up to expectations. Everyone is unique, so it's important to respect each person's individuality. Instead of assuming they'll act a certain way because of their family, it's better to get to know them for who they are. Four, how dare you saying, how dare you to your partner can come across as disrespectful and hurtful. It can make them feel small and belittled, like they've done something terribly wrong. Instead of using such harsh language, it's better to express your feelings in a more respectful way. If your partner has done something that upsets you, try asking, why would you do such a thing? This allows you to address the issue without attacking their character or making them feel defensive. When you accuse your partner with, how dare you, you're challenging their authority and making them feel threatened. This can lead to arguments and misunderstandings. Even if your partner admits they were wrong and wants to apologize, using confrontational language like this can put them on the defensive. It's important to communicate calmly and respectfully, focusing on finding a solution rather than placing blame. Instead of drawing battle lines with your words, try using gentler phrases to express your feelings. Avoid yelling or speaking in a way that makes your partner feel powerless. By controlling your tone and choosing your words carefully, you can address issues in a constructive manner and strengthen your relationship through effective communication. Five, you're overreacting. Telling someone you're overreacting can belittle their emotions and push them away. It implies that their feelings are invalid or exaggerated, which can create distance in the relationship. Rather than dismissing their reaction, it's crucial to listen empathetically and acknowledge their perspective, even if you struggle to fully comprehend it. Disregarding someone's emotions can harm the bond between you. 
When you brush off their feelings as an overreaction, it communicates a lack of empathy and understanding. This can lead to breakdowns in communication and hinder the closeness you share. Instead, validate their emotions by acknowledging their experience and expressing empathy towards their point of view. Six, all men are trash. Saying all men are trash or similar phrases is hurtful and unfair. It paints all men with the same negative brush, disregarding their individuality. While it's understandable to feel hurt or disappointed by past experiences, it's important not to generalize based on those experiences. Every person is different, and it's unfair to label an entire group based on the actions of a few. This mindset of labeling all men as worthless is toxic and stems from unresolved pain or distrust. It's a pessimistic outlook that doesn't leave room for understanding or growth. Imagine how you would feel if someone made sweeping generalizations about your gender. It's hard to connect with someone who already has a negative opinion about you before getting to know you as an individual. Men, like anyone else, want to be seen for who they are, not judged based on stereotypes. When women generalize men, it creates barriers to forming meaningful connections. It's important to approach relationships with an open mind and give people a chance to prove themselves. By avoiding blanket statements and being open to seeing individuals for who they are, we can foster healthier relationships built on trust and mutual respect. Seven, you are lucky to have me. Telling him you're lucky to have me can make him feel like you're trying to control him. It's like you're using guilt to make him do what you want. This kind of behavior is not good for a relationship. It can make him feel trapped and unhappy. Instead of trying to manipulate him, it's better to build a relationship based on respect, trust, and appreciation. In a healthy relationship, both people should feel valued and respected. Using manipulation or guilt to get your way only damages the trust between you. It's important to communicate openly and honestly with him rather than trying to control or manipulate. By fostering mutual respect and appreciation, you can build a stronger and happier relationship. Remember, no one should feel like they have to stay in a relationship out of guilt or obligation. Both partners should feel free to express themselves and make their own choices. By treating him with kindness and respect, you can create a relationship where both people feel loved and valued. Eight, you are not my type. When a guy asks you out and you're not interested, it's okay to say no, but how you say it matters a lot. Think about how you would feel if someone turned you down in a harsh way. You wouldn't like it, right? So try to be kind and considerate when you let him know you're not interested. You can say something like, I don't really feel a connection without making him feel bad about himself. It's important to treat others with respect, even if you're not interested in them. Turning down someone's advances doesn't mean you have to make them feel worthless. Be honest about why you're not interested, but try not to be mean about it. Imagine how you would want to be treated if you were in his shoes. Acting calmly and politely can help avoid hurting his feelings unnecessarily. Even if you're annoyed that he asked you out, try to stay calm and avoid being rude. Everyone deserves to be treated with kindness and respect. So even if you're not interested, try to let him down gently without making him feel bad about himself. It's the right thing to do, and it can help prevent hard feelings in the long run. Remember, Communication is key in any relationship. Let's strive to uplift and support each other with words that empower and respect. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful content. See you next time.